again. Hope you guys are doing well. Just wanted to do another get ready with me. These are like my favorite videos to film. And it's really fun to get ready in front of the camera and um, you know, it helps me think creatively about putting different looks together. So I used a new product in this video that I just picked up today. It's the Physician's Formula Nude Wear Concealer Highlighting Pen, not really sure. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It was quite a light, watery consistency, and I blended it in with a brush, and so I think next time I'm going to try and blend it in with my fingers. Um, so that was a new product, and it's just a very kind of matte eye with a tiny cat flick winged liner, and then my Christian Dior 999 lipstick, which was a birthday gift. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Started. I'm going to clip my hair back and my hair is kind of a hot mess but whatevs and it's kind of late in the day and I haven't really refreshed my skin in a while so I'm going to use this Evan Healy Rose Petal Facial Tonic Hydrosol just kind of all over it's really nice really nice stuff I'm just going to pat that in I also <laughs> I really like that it says on here has an intention on the bottle May all beings everywhere be happy and free. It's a nice touch. Okay, so now I'm going to use a little bit of primer. Um, I'll do the Stratus uh, Vapor, the Vapor Stratus Instant Skin Perfector in 902. Just a little bit of that. It's a Thursday night, and I am meeting out with some friends tonight. A friend of mine is... DJing at a new spot and his wife who I'm very good friends with is also coming so we'll get to catch up with them And hear some good music as you guys can probably tell if you've watched any of my past videos. I music is like a really really big part of my life and uh, It's one of my hobbies and I spend a lot of time um, Listening to music going to see other DJs DJing myself Etc. Okay, so base is just still going to be the 100% pure tinted moisturizer in white peach and the Juice Beauty uh, Stem Cellular Repair CC Cream in Warm Glow. Just like kind of mix them together on my fingers and rub them in. Okay, now I'm going to move into concealer. Um, I guess just the my shell will be fine for today, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then I am gonna go in after the Michel and use, I just bought this, I haven't used it yet, the Physician's Formula Nude Glow, Nude Wear, it's like a highlighting pen. So let me do my... Now I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Nude Wear. See, I tested this out on my, uh, that brought no product up. I tested this out, ooh, now it's oozing. That might be too much. On my hand when I took it out of the package. It's a very thin, kind of like watery consistency almost. But, let's do it. All the usual kind of I guess I'll use this this might take too much of the product away though maybe I should use my fingers yeah I'm not sure I can really tell a discernible difference to be honest using that I still look like I have some darkness under my eyes so I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of brightening with the Juice Beauty Organic Ivory Concealer. I think maybe I'll try that highlighting pen with my fingers. Um, otherwise, I'm going to return it. So now let's do some bronzing. I'm going to use my Studio 78 Paris and... A 
MAC 187 stippling brush. It always looks like a hurricane in here with all my makeup spread out to film. Kind of like it though. I like seeing all my stuff laid out. I don't know what it is. People that like beauty products and are product junkies. There's just something about every aspect of a beauty routine. Buying the products, having them, looking at them, using them. I've been like this since I was a little kid. My little sister and I used to rummage through my Aunt Chris's caboodle makeup kit. <laughs> we always reminisce about that too when we see her over the holidays. She was very glamorous. My mom was more, um, my mom wore makeup, but she was kind of more like a classic beauty. She had a very small amount of makeup, one lipstick, you know, one mascara and one eyeliner, and she kind of always did the same thing. My mom's a very beautiful woman, but um, she was never one to really be into makeup or spending a lot of time or money on it. My Aunt Chris was the more kind of glamorous one who would spend like $50 on a foundation or bottle of moisturizer, and my sister and I used to just paw through her stuff. She was a really good sport about it in retrospect. Bringing some life back to my face. I want to get another bronzer. I'm thinking I might, uh, I might pick up the Mineral Fusion bronzer. I've heard good things about. And then I also kind of want the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, although I always really try and talk myself out of buying conventional products. Um, oh, that was kind of off the shoulder a little bit. Um, sometimes I've been wanting to invest in the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder and the Celestial uh, Candlelight highlighting powder from Kevin Aquan. They were just kind of like two staples I feel like would be really good in my makeup collection, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna use Mocha, Chanel Jus Contrast Mocha on my cheeks. But this is just such a good neutral staple to have. I really like it. And the quality of these is really, really nice. I know it does turn red on some people. I don't really tend to have that problem, I think, because I think I'm pretty neutral skin toned, neutral cool, maybe. Um, but things don't really tend to get too warm or red on me. Okay, now I'm gonna set everything with my Hourglass Trio. Just this light one under my eyes. Brows is gonna be um, the All Natural Face Vegan Brow Wax and Anastasia Medium Ash Brow Powder. And I'll just do this quickly because it's the same drill. hot in my room. I want to open the window, but I'm afraid it's going to be too loud in here. Um, okay. Let me prime my eyes quickly. The Lorac. Lorac? Lorac? Someone recently clarified how this is pronounced, but I'm blanking. I think the next time I make a Sephora order, I'm going to buy the either the Tarte or the Bare Minerals. I feel like those are good... Um, compromise brands. So I was kind of feeling like I maybe need to clarify my stance on the products that I use because I'm not fully like a green or all natural or cruelty free or whatever. Um, blogger, blogger, YouTube video maker. And um, it seems like labels are kind of important in this world. And I've been really into natural products for 
I don't know, maybe two years. While I talk, I'm just going to uh, lay down some, this is a, a MAC quad that I have. And I'm going to use this one. I think it's malt. In terms of my stance on the products that I use, obviously I'm not a purist. I still have a number of dirty products. On an everyday basis, most of the stuff I use is from good, clean brands. And in general, that's what I try and go for. Um, I, can't, I try and have sort of a non-militant stance on it. I really do care about all the aspects of green beauty. Um, everything from health to the animal rights issues to supporting small businesses to supporting products that are made in the United States. Those are all things I really care about. Um, and something that also, it's, it's kind of like a hierarchy of importance. If something's going all over my face, like a foundation or any of my skincare, that's kind of like a high priority for it to be clean and free of chemicals and parabens and petroleum and mineral oils and synthetic fragrances and things like that. With things like, and lipstick honestly is really important too, and that's kind of my, I just, I haven't been able to find, aside from Bite Beauty, and there's a new brand of liquid lipstick called Aromi that I really want to check out. Um, I just haven't found that natural lipsticks really compare in terms of the, the pigment and the matteness and the intensity of a lot of the dirty lipsticks that I have tried or have. Um... So I'm, I'm kind of rambling and I think I'm going to do no shimmer. I want to do all matte, but I think I'm going to do a shimmer. I'm going to do gold, this gold in the inner corner. I'm going to do the white underneath the brow bone. And then I'm going to do a mix of taupe, mauve, sable, and maybe even a tiny bit of espresso, this dark one right here, all in the crease. So I think what I said is probably kind of unsatisfying. Oh shoot. But I just, I, I kind of want to be a blend of someone that has green proclivities, but also intermittently uses other products. I don't, maybe I just want to have it all ways. I'm like a cafeteria Catholic or I heard that on NPR today. I was going to run some errands and they had uh, a nun on and they were talking about what the Catholic Church is like these days with the new Pope. And I guess they recently canonized some peeps. Some peeps, that's probably really offensive. Um, but anyway, maybe I do kind of want to have it always. I don't know. I haven't really figured it out. I will say that 80 to 90% of all my products that I have and use and buy are from natural, organic, yada, yada, yada lines. I'm using a Zuzu Lux liquid liner in Raven. I am like really friggin' hot in here. I'm gonna open the window. You like how I just like flapped my arms. I'm like, it's really hot in here. <laughs> really attractive. Okay. It actually looks pretty good. For some reason, my left one is always harder to do. You know what else randomly I've been noticing from watching my own YouTube videos? You start to notice the asymmetries in your face a lot more than I feel like I ever did normally. And I notice how different my left profile is from my right profile. I definitely like my left one better, but I'm always like, why is that? Okay, so I'm gonna... I need to take some shadow underneath the lower lash line, don't I? I 
And now I'm going to line the upper waterline and the lower waterline with my Jane Iredale Basic Black Eye Pencil. I feel like I'm like all over the place rambly in this video. It's kind of been a tough week. So my head is kind of all over the place. Kind of watch an, I want to watch an episode of Breaking Bad after I do my makeup too because I'm going to have a little time to kill before I go out. Curl my lashes quickly. I'm going to use my Zoom In Ultimate Mascara by the brand Flower. I don't fully understand this mascara still. If you can see, like, you're supposed to click the top and there's like different wands for lengthen, curl, and volumize, but I feel like when I've clicked, I've only been able to get two different wands. So I don't quite fully understand. I feel like I always get this like twisty wand. I don't want really want the twisty wand. Okay, I think I just got it to the lengthen one. Yes. So we're gonna use the lengthen first. It's not bad. The formula is still pretty wet. It hasn't quite dried out enough. I like that wand. I think maybe, because I think I was ambivalent about this in a previous video, but that wand I do like. Now I'm gonna go through with another coat of the Almay Get Up and Grow. I think I'm gonna do one more coat. I really like to build it up. Sometimes I'll go as, I'll do like five or six coats. I just really force it on there. Don't mind if it looks a little clumpy. Now I think the only thing we have to do is lips. So for my birthday, which just happened this last weekend, my very good friend got me this beautiful Christian Dior lipstick. It's the iconic 999. First of all, the packaging, I mean, hello. But that product is just stunning. The shape of the lipstick, it says Dior, I don't know if you can see, but it says Dior right on it. I'm going to do a swatch of this. So I have several reds. I don't have one that's as creamy and has the kind of finish that this one does. It's a true red, looks beautiful on the lips, but it's the finish of it that I feel that makes it unique. It's so feels so good on the lips and it just honestly looks really beautiful. So I'm going to do a, a quick line with MAC Cherry. Okay. And then I'm just going to put on the Dior 999 directly from the tube. For highlight, I'm going to do a little bit of the Benefit What's Up. I think this was the Sephora birthday gift last year. So I'm just going to dot it right on my skin directly from the tube and blend it out. So this is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me get ready to go out and see my good friend DJ and catch up with my girlfriend who bought me this beautiful lipstick that I'm obsessed with. Um, so until I see you guys again, thanks for watching. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.